2010, Kim texted me after she went on her first date with Mark. It was from the way she talked about Mark that I knew that he was different from the other guys that she had dated in the past. She was excited for this potential relationship and friendship. When she talked to me about her date, she went on and on about how great Mark was and how much I would like him. I'll be honest, I was skeptical at first, but it was when Kim and Mark visited me in Washington, D.C., that I knew there was something special about this guy. Kim and Mark just seemed to click. I saw a light in her when she was around him that I didn't see in her before. Kimberly, Kimberly, Kimberly. I'm very grateful and excited and perhaps will get emotional to be standing before you on your wedding day. It's been a year of planning over every detail, from colors to themes to food to the venue to invitations to music to video and the dress. What everybody needs to know here is I had nothing to do with any of this. <laughs> that it's my wife Marsha and Kimberly. We wouldn't normally have Kimberly this involved. My wife Marsha and Kimberly and the staff here at the hotel and friends and family that have put all of this together. Um, Marsha and Kim were the planners and deliberators and decision makers. And I, I want to really thank them both for a year of stress on them, not on me. <laughs> it saved me. A year of stress. Uh, and decision making to make sure that the wedding and the uh, weekend is going as planned. I also want to thank Sandy and Eleanor Epstein for everything they've done over the past years to welcome Kimberly into the family and for family and friends on both sides for, as I said, for, for coming and celebrating this weekend. Um, and for both our family, the Stearns, and for the Epsteins, all of our children are now married. So we're all very happy. <laughs> and this, 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 is a day, this is a day that we, and especially my wife, Marsha, has uh, been living for.